Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the Lace Up channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to enable lot numbers in QuickBooks. Uh, once enabled, you'll be able to receive lot numbers, sell lot numbers, and run inventory by lot number so that you can see exactly how much of what lot number you have on hand. Uh, if you look over here on QuickBooks, you'll see that we have an item called Dairy Item. What we're going to do first in this company file is we're going to enable the lot number. To do so, we go Edit, Preferences. This will only work if you have QuickBooks Enterprise Wholesale Manufacturing. So what we're going to do next is we're going to tap on Items and in Inventory, Company Preferences, and then we're going to go to Advanced Inventory Settings. Uh, from here, we'll select the serial slash lot numbers, and then we're going to check mark this box. It'll ask us or prompt us if we want serial numbers or lot numbers. In this scenario, we're going to use lot numbers for our dairy item. After we've selected lot number, we'll hit OK, and we'll hit OK on this window. Now, lot numbers are enabled. You know that lot numbers are enabled because if you go into any screen or any report, for instance, any inventory report, you'll see lot numbers in stock, you'll see inventory stock by item, um, you'll see all these reports, and if you click in, you'll be able to see exactly what lot numbers you have. Uh, right now, we don't have any lot numbers, so what we're going to do first is we're going to add some lot numbers for that particular item. So again, list, item list. We're going to add a couple lot numbers for our dairy item, and we're going to go ahead and receive that lot into inventory. To do so, we're going to do an item receipt. And we'll go ahead and create a fake vendor here real quick for demo purposes. So from here, I'm going to do a uh, item receipt. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the item. The item is going to be the dairy. We're going to select 100 of them. And we're going to also key in the lot number right here. This lot number is going to appear on your screen as well for receiving items. So this lot number is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When I'm done, I'll hit save and close. And the system's automatically going to receive that inventory into stock. So now if we go to list, item list, we'll see that there's 100 of, of that item on hand. Then if we go to run the report by lot number, we go reports, inventory, lot numbers in stock, you'll see that we have this item with this lot number. And if we double click, it'll give us how many we have on hand. So I've just shown you how to receive an item with a lot number into inventory. Now you know you've got 100 of lot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for this item. Now I'm going to sell this item to a customer. To do so, we're going to go to Customers, Create Invoices. Again, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to create a test customer. And again, we're going to sell this customer the dairy item. We're going to key in our lot number here. And we're going to do 50 of these. And now I'm going to hit save and close. And that's going to create an invoice for this customer. More importantly, it's going to adjust the on hand of the lot number for this item. So now if we double click, we'll see that we now have 50 on hand. Now let's say that there's going to be a recall on that item. So we need to find that invoice for that customer so that we can contact the customer and keep them from selling uh, our damaged or spoiled or uh, for whatever reason it may be the product that needs to be recalled so that they can tell the customer, warn the customer and not sell it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to reports, we're going to go to inventory and then we're going to do a report. Actually we'll probably just do a sales report. So we're going to do a sales report by customer detail we're going to customize the report, filters, we're going to look for lot number. We're going to look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when we hit OK, 
the system's automatically going to pull up exactly who we sold this to. So here's the transaction, and if we double click on it, it'll tell us exactly who the customer was that we sold the product to. Now we have full traceability of that product. Uh, so, so far, we added lot numbers, we sold lot numbers, and lastly, I showed you how you could look up lot numbers in your reports to be able to uh, have full traceability of whoever you sold that lot number to. Please let me know if you have any questions on how to do this in QuickBooks down in our comments. Uh, follow our channel or subscribe to our channel for daily videos. Thank you and we'll see you again next video. Bye bye.